This is AutoLine Daily, reporting on all aspects of the global automotive industry. Well, the auto industry just lost one of its icons. Former Volkswagen chairman Ferdinand Pieck died unexpectedly on Sunday at the age of 82. He reportedly collapsed at a restaurant in Germany. Pieck played a major role in developing VW into what it is today. Volkswagen acquired Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, and perhaps most importantly, Porsche, while he was in charge. His grandfather was Ferdinand Porsche, the founder of the sports car maker and the father of the Beetle. Pieck was named CEO of VW in 1993, and he became chairman in 2002. He resigned from VW in 2015, just months before the company's diesel emission scandal became public. And maybe that is why Volkswagen has removed almost all photos of Pieck from its website. See, are, are you a millennial? Then you're probably paying more to service and repair your car than older people. That's according to a survey by Ally, the company that offers financial services to car buyers and dealers. It found that millennials spent an average of more than $2,300 on car repairs over the last five years, while most people paid about $2,000. Baby boomers only spend about $1,600. Ally says many people would face financial hardships if they got hit with a big repair bill. That's why it is recommending a vehicle service contract that covers most repairs and fits more easily into household budgets. It'd be a financial burden if something were to happen to my vehicle. Definitely it'd be a hardship. That would hurt. I would not like to deal with that. We see it all the time. People come in and see their repair costs and they really don't know if they can afford it. Unfortunately, there's just too many Americans out there today that are one vehicle repair away from having to make really hard financial decisions. China is getting worried about the slowdown in car sales, which shows no signs of getting better there. Bloomberg reports that the government is coming out with stimulus packages to try to get sales growing again. That includes loosening limits on car sales that some cities imposed, providing more incentives for new energy vehicles like EVs, and building more gasoline stations in rural areas. Even so, analysts do not expect this to make much of a difference in sales. They say the worst is probably over, but that the market is not going to recover anytime soon. You know you've made it as a car company when the aftermarket starts developing parts for your cars. And an Austrian company called Steinbauer just came out with a power module for the Tesla Model S, 90D, and P90D. Steinbauer primarily makes electronic products for diesel and gasoline engines, including agricultural ones. It claims you can install its power module in the Teslas in 45 minutes and that it will boost the power on the 90D by 46 horsepower and the P90D by 67 horses. The power module costs about $3,000. Toyota dominates the midsize pickup truck segment in the American market. Through the first half of the year, it had 44% market share of that segment. And while the truck has been somewhat updated over the last few years, Auto Forecast Solutions reports that the next generation Tacoma will go into production in November of 2020 at Toyota's plant in Guanajuato, Mexico. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Hyundai revealed a new electric scooter prototype. It has a front suspension and front and rear running lights for using it at night. It's got a top speed of about 12 miles an hour and a range of a little over 12 miles and it only weighs about 17 pounds. It features a trifold design since the company plans to make it fit into future Hyundai and Kia vehicles. The company says it's working on adding regenerative braking to future models, which will boost its range by 7%. And while it might seem strange to see automakers jumping into this segment, a recent study from McKinsey and Company found that the last mile mobility market in the US, Europe, and China will reach nearly $500 billion by 2030. 
and the automotive industry would love to get a slice of that pie. Hey, be sure to join us for AutoLine After Hours later this week. The head of Mopar's North American Operations, Mark Bosanak, will be joining us and bringing its latest creation into the studio. What vehicle does Mopar have in store for us? That's a great question because we don't even know, but we do know the name of it is going to be very controversial. So join Gary Vasilash and me this Thursday to find out what it is. And with that, we wrap up today's show. Thanks for watching. <music>